So I had a request for a video on monkey movement specifically and kind of the benefits of it and why we open up that way and why we use that as our warm up here. Um, basically from what I believe and from my experience moving around and you know warming up for tournaments, practices, fights, all that kind of stuff, uh, I see so many people stretching and sitting and doing static stretches, splits and reaching over to the side and everything and I just find that leads to much, much more injury because you're asking too much of your body when you aren't warm yet. Um, you want to warm up, you want to move, you want to have dynamic movement that isn't too intense and you start to find the flow and pick up the intensity as you start getting warmer and warmer. Uh, so the monkey movement is perfect for that. All right, we're getting nice and low and we're making sure that we're making points of contact with the feet and the hands and we're kind of distributing the weight evenly as we move so you shouldn't really hear anything. Everything should be super light, balanced. When you take a yoga class, if you've taken a yoga class, they always tell you to press your hands, press your feet into the mat with every pose that you're doing. And you wanna do that so you can feel those points of contact. If I'm putting my fingers down, I wanna feel all five fingers, all five toes, my heel, my arch, my toe, my other hand, my foot lifting up, my toes landing coming back, redistributing that balance, learning how to breathe with all your movements. If the movement is easy, you should be inhaling. If the movement is strenuous, you should be exhaling. Let your lungs work with your body. And you wanna keep this up for three minutes. You don't have to be going super fast. Find your flow. Find everything. Use your whole body. Have fun with that, guys. Be loose, find your flow, figure out what works well for you. You really surprise yourselves. Thanks a lot, guys.